The sheer number of small boats have overwhelmed our asylum system and forced the government to place asylum seekers in hotels. These hotels take valuable assets from communities and place pressures on local public services. Seaside towns have lost tourist trade, weddings have been cancelled, and local councils have had their resources diverted to manage them. And the hard-working British taxpayer has been left to foot the eye-watering £2.3 billion a year bill. Madam Deputy Speaker, we must not elevate the well-being of illegal migrants above those of the British people. It is in their interests that we are sent here. The enduring solution to stop the boats is to take the actions outlined in our bill. But in the meantime, it is right that we act to correct the injustice of the current situation. This Government remains committed to meeting our legal obligations to those who would otherwise be destitute. But we are not prepared to go further. Accommodation for migrants should meet their essential living needs and nothing more, because we cannot risk becoming a magnet for the millions of people who are displaced and seeking better economic prospects. So today the Government is announcing the first tranche of sites we will set up to provide basic accommodation at scale. The Government will use military sites being disposed of in Essex and Lincolnshire and a separate site in East Sussex. These will be scaled up over the coming months and will collectively provide accommodation to several thousand asylum seekers through repurposed, repurposed barrack blocks and porter cabins. In addition, my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, is showing leadership on this issue by bringing forward proposals to provide accommodation at Catterick Garrison Barracks in his constituency. And we're continuing to explore the possibility of accommodating migrants in vessels as they are in Scotland and in the Netherlands.